Less black men applied to medical school in the year 2014 than in the year 1978. Out of all the physicians in America, only two to four percent of them are black men. This past year, out of over 21,000 people who applied to medical school, only 600 of them were black men. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Dale Cordue. Most people call me Dr. Dale. I'm the founder of Black Men in White Coats, and I want to tell you about an epidemic that America's facing. I'm gonna tell you about a story that happened to me when I was 20 years old. I got on the plane from St. Louis, Missouri to Houston, Texas. I was flying home to see my parents. I sat down in my usual window seat and a nice lady came and sat down next to me. I was wearing sweats and a hoodie. It was wintertime, I was cold outside. And this, this woman sat down for the next two hours on that plane, she belittled me. She verbally assaulted me. She told me I dressed funny. She told me I looked funny, told me I didn't speak well. She told me I was never gonna be successful. I remember just thinking to myself, wow, is this really what people think when they see people that look like me? How could she possibly know that I was on the path to furthering my education, going to medical school, and eventually becoming a successful medical doctor? She just hadn't seen very many people that look like me, black men, become doctors. And that's the epidemic that we're facing right now. After really thinking deeply about this epidemic, the lack of black men in the field of medicine, and identifying some critical problems, I started the movement Black Men in White Coats to really promote diversity in the field of medicine, to really work on getting more black men in the field of medicine. I, I wanted to get the message out, but I really didn't know how to do it. One day I find myself sitting in the movie theaters with a couple friends and we're watching this documentary film. And it's really pulling at my heart, it's tugging, it's getting the emotions out of me and I'm really, I'm really connecting with their message. I thought to myself, that is exactly what we need to do for black men in white coats. We need to make a film and get it out to the entire nation. I was enthralled and I wanted to know, hey, who made this thing? So everybody's getting up to leave the movie theater and I'm sitting there at the end just to watch the credits. And I found out that the director of this film is a gentleman by the name of Kyle Lawless, founder of Lot 35 Productions. We started Lot 35 Productions with one goal in mind, to create content with purpose. And that's why when we got the phone call from Dale, we knew it was the perfect fit. So in this film, we're going to document the struggles and the triumphs of minorities pursuing careers in the field of medicine. We're gonna get up close and personal, take you on the front lines. And we're gonna ask the question and answer the question, why are there so few minorities in the medical field? All I can think about is the young adult sitting down, watching this film and realizing that there's an entire world of opportunity beyond what society has told them that they're good enough for. So obviously this issue of the lack of black men in the field of medicine weighs heavy on my heart. And for the past few years, I've been working with one of my buddies, a local videographer out of Dallas, to really start documenting this problem that we're facing. We've been collecting some, some pretty awesome footage, and I'd like to share it with you guys so you guys get a better understanding of this problem. Check it out. In 2013, the AAMC came out with a report highlighting a decrease in number of black men applying to medical school. There are numbers as low as 2% of all physicians are African-American males in medicine. It means that we as a country aren't doing our job of mining talent in children who are born as African-Americans or children who are born in poverty. Having a picture of what your life can look like is a powerful motivating factor. A lot of black young men get the message that they're not expected to achieve. They're not expected to excel. In high school, it was fights almost every single day. I just thought this was what the world makeup was. The pivotal moment where I knew that I actually could become a doctor was when I started to take my education more seriously and not squander my gift of intelligence. Diversity is needed in medicine and in research because we all have different experiences. We all have different understandings of what is needed. There's 1.3 million people live in South Los Angeles. When I came here, there were four urologists. Being the urologist who's willing to practice here makes all the difference. My father taught me that you can be unapologetically black and be unapologetically excellent. And those two things are not at all mutually exclusive. 
The key thing is to do the best that you can in school because by having academic success, that will open up doors in other areas. When your friends are going out to the parties, stay home and study. When people are making fun of you because you're getting the good grades in school, you have to be okay with that. That's what you have to do to make it. There are huge opportunities for you to be whatever you want to be. It's going to require some hard work, but keep true to your dream and your own heart. We need more black physicians. It's good for our patients, it's good for the profession, it's just good for humanity in general. In some ways, the white coat is like a red cape. To be able to walk into a situation or walk into a room and people look towards you for answers and for them to know that I'm on their side. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. You have to surround yourself with like-minded individuals that want to do the same thing. Nobody is self-made. Everybody has somebody who helps them. If you want to be successful, find that person who's going to help you. The challenges that I faced all shaped who I am now. I wake up knowing that I'm doing something that I should be doing. I believe that I can change the world. This is where you come in. We believe that these stories are worth being told, without a doubt. <laughs> but what we believe doesn't matter if you guys don't help us out. You'll be the ones that decide whether or not this story is told. You'll be the ones that decide whether or not America knowing about the lack of black men in the field of medicine is important. So guys, we really need your help to make this happen, okay? We really need you guys to back us, contribute. We need you to tell your friends, share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, email, go tell it on a mountain. There's a button over there somewhere, I think it's there, somewhere around here. Click on it and back us. Scroll down on the page, check out all the really cool rewards and incentives we have. You can have a day on set with us. Just check it out and we're trying to make this fun for you guys so, so you guys will be excited. We need you guys to be part of this, to join us and making this film come to fruition so we can impact lives, impact medicine for generations to come. This isn't our film. This is our film. So we want to thank you now in advance for being a part of it.